Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is June 25th and do we have a surprise for you. I recently purchased a new vehicle and it's going to be a new vehicle for this channel. We're going to take you along every step of the way. Yes, we have done a step or two without videoing and keeping you guys on track, but I promise from here on out you guys are going to be involved with everything. And I feel like this with this vehicle, a lot more of you will relate to me and be able to understand where I'm coming from and what we're doing with this vehicle. And hey, a lot of you probably even have this vehicle already, so we're going to go through every step of the way with you guys, and we'll get to the plans here in a second, but let's do this reveal. I'm sure you can tell by the video already, but this is a fourth gen, obviously. This is a 2014 Ram SLT truck. It is crew cab, short bed, four wheel drive, automatic, obviously. It has the second level interior package. We'll get to that. But yes, this is what I got. We bought this from a dealership with 50,000 miles. Got a good deal on it. Uh, it was a trade in from an older couple that were in their 70s that had it fifth wheel camper that they pulled to uh, Florida every fall so it hasn't spent a winter in PA. Now that you know what the truck is, we're going to do a quick little walk around show you everything a little further in detail. So here it is. Uh, obviously every coming since 2007 and a half have had the 6.7. They recently changed in 19 to a different block and some different internals but this has the same motor as my brother's 2007 and a half dually and my old brother's 2012 Cummins. So in 13 they went to this red emblem which means that it is a DEF truck. So if you look in the fuel tank here you will see there it is. A little DEF fill tank and it's kind of crazy. I've never noticed these before but it's kind of just a plug that comes right out. Kind of funny. So we'll show you the interior of this truck. Like I said this is an SLT but it does have the interior package too so that includes the touch screen, the full center console, and the sunroof. So the guy that ordered this, it's a one owner truck, the guy that ordered it from the factory had that option put in this truck and it's basically the same as a Laramie, it just doesn't have the leather seat so he must have liked cloth because price difference, it's a little different but if you're already ordering the truck you might as well if you want leather to get leather. So here's the back seats. Uh, like I said, it's a crew cab, it's got storage, uh, power sliding, back window, uh, came with a factory Mopar top new cover, a roll up one. It does have a fifth wheel that came with it. I have it off right now just for cleaning purposes. Um, yes, so factory bed liner. It's got a backup camera. Alright, so let's get on to it and look at this thing and show you why we decided to jump after this truck. Why we got this one. So let's crawl under here real quick. So as you can see, this frame is in great shape. You don't see surface rust anywhere. It's in really good shape. Go under the back a little. There we can see the back of it. There, I don't know if you can see. You can see the coil spring rear end. Kind of crazy. 
strange not used to seeing there you can see it really well truck's in really good shape like i said guy that lived in pa but had a fifth wheel camper and he would tow it down to florida every fall so it has not seen a pa winter and i don't really plan on driving it in the winter so yeah so now we'll get to some of the things i already did to the truck um You'll see a lot of similarities that I had on my second gen. Um, obviously, it's a trademark. Got to put that there on an angle, pointing at the second, third cab light. It's got to be there. We took the Ram 2500 heavy duty emblems off. We left the Cummins for now. Uh, gives it a cleaner look. I might take that one off too. We'll see. We took the factory Ram running boards off. Of course, we got to put our little sticker in there. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Other than debadging it and uh, putting that coming sticker on, we haven't really done much. Uh, we took the dealership SLT and 4x4 off the tailgate. We are going to probably take this top new cover on and put a hard trifold one on. I have a tinted license plate industrial injection. I do. In the next future, I want to tint the three, break, three back brake lights. Um, I got mixed feelings about if I want to tint over the reverse lights or not. Um, well, tint. Speaking of tint, this guy needs 5% all the way around. 35 or 50 on the windshield with a 5% brow. Uh, tint the cab lights we want to do. We want to put LED lights in the truck and fog lights. And yeah, so that's about it for the outside that I would like to do. Obviously wheels and tires. I got mixed feelings if I want to tint these or not. We'll see. I think it might give it, it they look good right now with the clear cab lights, but I think once those are tinted, I think we're gonna have to tint those. We gotta figure out something with this antenna. Uh, it's just not looking that great. We need some back to black on here and get rid of the antenna. But yeah, so then we get to the motor wise. Now this truck is fully emissions. It has a DPF, the EGR, all that happy nonsense for now. Uh, the dealership did give me a little bit of a warranty, so I'm going to ride that out a little bit. Then we're probably going to go with Easy Link Tuning. Obviously, this has a 68 RE because it's a 2500. It doesn't have the ISM, so we're going to have to need some trans tunes. I'm thinking an Edge CTS3 monitor, um, EGO plates, block off plates, all that. Maybe. Uh, Instead of just doing the whole plating system on the intake side, we'll just get an intake manifold. I do have an S366 for this truck and a second gen swap manifold, so maybe in fall we'll go with that. But right now we're just going to, like I said, we're going to ride out what we got going on here. We're going to do the tent, we're going to take care of the cab lights, maybe put some wheels and tires on it for now. And then closer to fall, I'm thinking August, September, maybe we'll... Uh, Get into the tuning and the turbo swap and we're going to be with you every step of the way with this so i want to show you that now this truck is from completely factory other than the emblems i took off this is it this is how it came from the dealership in 2014 and so here it is it's 2020 truck still sitting here the same way it's ready to get repurposed run a little bit better I have pulled my camper with it, the truck does run great, the 6 speed is really nice for pulling, but many people have complaints about the 68 RE, uh, RFE, kind of gear floating between gears, you're driving down the highway at 60, it doesn't know if it want to be, wants to be in 5th or 6th, then it kind of floats, so the trans tuning will help with that, and it will increase line pressure. We're going to take you for a little ride here in a couple minutes, and I'll show you all the display screens it's pretty awesome truck is pretty insane when you think about it compared to a 98 i mean i didn't have any of that stuff half the gauges didn't even work on the old second gen but now we're in this and i don't know if you can see it in this but this paint in the sun it's incredible let me try to zoom in here i don't even know if i'll pick it up a little bit So 
here, what I really wanted to show you was this display screen. So we got the temperature, the fuel range, the trailer brake applier gain, the compass in the top left, trans temp in the top left, turbo boost in the bottom left. Now let's go through here, I'll show you everything. That's just how you can change it. You can store messages, that's the radio. There's the trailer as we were saying. There's your trip B, trip A. Here's your fuel economy, it tells you how many miles you have till empty and it tells you your current MPG, but then it also tells you your average. And for being a non-deleted truck, 14.8 its whole life, that's pretty good. Um, let's go to the next thing. Oh, we already went through the trip, going the wrong way on you. So the gauge summary, this is what I like in three. So this has coolant temp, trans temp, oil temp, oil pressure, and then you can go through the different settings for this. Uh, turbo boost and exhaust pressure, uh, battery voltage, fuel filter life, oil life, trans temp, we already saw that. Tells you your tire pressure, of course, engine hours, idle hours, driving hours, and total running hours. We usually leave it on there. I no, usually go back to the speedometer. But yeah, there's that. And obviously, itself, it's got the DEF, the tachometer, coolant temp, oil uh, pressure, speedometer, and fuel level. And then here's the display, so we have the radio. And I'm gonna go through this in the further depth. This is media, so when you collect, connect it to a phone, we got controls. Um, it has these different apps, navigation, mirror, demo, so and so you can turn your, if you're driving at night, you can turn your screen off and just tap it and turn it back on. Um, yes. So then we go into climate. This is where you change all your different things got your AC settings, all that happy, obviously it's all right here as well, so yes. And then the navigation is really cool. There's the navigation, it tells you exactly what road you're on, where you're at. Uh, zoom out, see where you are, even more. We're about half the size of Pennsylvania, if you didn't notice. And then we have the phone connections as I was showing you before. So yeah, the display is really neat. Um, I didn't really show you in the depth of this stuff, but so you got a little compartment here, big dash, two cup holders. And we have a flip up center console, which I have my registration earplugs in. And then you got the flip up big center console. So yeah. Uh, sunroof obviously if you have a garage your different settings your sliding back window your closed sunroof open sunroof and your vent but yeah basically that's it so we're going to take you through I want to show you how it shifts and everything oh I forgot you do have a gear selector gear so let's go for a little drive After I put my belt on because being a new vehicle it does ding like crazy. And like I said, in a little bit I want to do 10 things I love, 10 things I hate kind of video. And uh, we'll go through that. And now I'll go further into depth about the things here. I just want to take you, I just wanted to reveal the truck here and take you for a little ride, show you what's going on. So, let me get it so I can see what gear we're in. So if you look down there, right next to the D, there's a faint letter, a faint number, and then a bright number. The bright number is what gear I have it locked in. See, if I'm on the highway and I don't want to ship into sixth, I can drop it. Well, that's first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Like, I can lock it in fifth, but yeah. So we'll go for a little drive. I'll show you the RPMs and when it shifts and whatnot. So then it shifted to second, third, fourth, and it went to fifth. I had it 
locked in fifth right now, so I don't really want it to go into sixth gear just because we're on a back road kind of. Up here we'll do two pulls, we'll do about a 75% throttle pull and then a full throttle pull. And oh, I forgot to mention, but here is your traction control, your tow haul, your exhaust brake, and your parking sensor controls. So, uh, I usually drive with the exhaust brake on. Here we'll do a kind of a 75% pull. Being an automatic Cummins that isn't deleted, it runs pretty good. This isn't brake boosting it or anything, this is just rolling at full throttle. There you go, now you can see the driveway mechanics. It's black on black. So when you're up close, you can see it far away. It's invisible. It's all about the little details. So that's pretty much the new truck and the new truck for the channel, my new truck. And like I said, we're gonna take you with every step of the way. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. It's just a review. We're gonna get more into details. Like I said, a video coming soon about 10 things I hate, 10 things I like a lot. And uh, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna take you every step of the way. We're gonna show you this thing from factory. To a pretty mild street truck and tow rig. Like I said before, uh, the 98 was super cool. Uh, it might relate to some of you. I feel like a newer 2014 relates to a lot more of you. So we're doing these videos for you guys so you can see, help you guys out. Uh, you can help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this channel, helping it grow, and we can keep the videos going. Like I said, I'm not doing this to make money. We're just doing this to help you guys take you along for the trip and so I can document everything. So in 10 years from now, I can look back and say, wow, I had a stock 2014 and maybe a couple years later, I have a thousand horsepower 2014. You never know. So yes, like, subscribe and share. Tell your friends about the channel. Get into your driveway, start working on your things and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.